Hello boys and girls, it's me Mrs. Messina and I hope that you're having an awesome day. And I'm really excited about this project because you are actually one of the first of all my classes to create this project. But before we go on to that, we are going to be focused on our warm and cool colors. Our warm colors are red, yellow, and orange, and our cool colors are blue, green, and purple. An artist that uses tons of these colors is one of my favorite artists named bum, 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 Chuck Close. He is a present day American artist known to make these big, gigantic, realistic portraits. And the reason why he's able to get them so realistic, if you look closer, as you can tell, they're kind of like in a grid format, meaning that the box that he creates his artwork out of boxes. The reason why it's kind of box like because he has trouble seeing he does have trouble recognizing faces. But the way he sees faces is almost like through a square like vision, then by far away, you can actually see these super realistic paintings. And that's actually a picture of him right here. Something that's really cool about his artwork is that he only uses three colors and he blends them and he definitely uses those warm and cool colors. So for the first assignment for our Chuck Close project, you are going to be watching a video on warm and cool colors and how you can use that to make fantastic art, but also you are going to examine how Chuck Close creates his out of this world artworks. All right. You will be answering a list of questions, then uploading them either on Seesaw or Google Classroom. Again, a lot of the videos and questionnaires will be on your art e-learning page. Okay. Now, in a week after you completed that assignment, you will be getting the directions and tutorials on our portrait project using warm and cool colors. So boys and girls, we are going to be making our own Chuck Close inspired portraits using warm and cool colors. As you can tell, we are going to be using lots of patterns and we are going to be using kind of like his grid style of making art. So boys and girls, you are first going to be using a ruler or a piece of paper to make even squares throughout your picture. After that, you are going to make a simple self portrait. Then number one, in the background and the shirt, you are only going to be using cool colors. As you look, each box and each section has its own set of cool colors and a different pattern. After that, you are going to color your lips and your eye color what it usually is. So with my eyes, I have hazel green eyes, so I would make my eyes that color. Now, once you are done adding that, you are going to use warm colors for the face and the skin. Same thing, each box and each section will have their own patterns with only warm colors. Now, if you look very closely, each box is different. There's no white in the box as all. So again, this project's gonna take a little bit more time, so we'll have a couple weeks to finish this project. Once you are done with the project, label it and date it on your Google and also your Seesaw account. Depending on what grade level you are, third grade is Seesaw, fourth grade and fifth grade is Google Classroom. After you have uploaded, you will be uploading it onto Artsonia. Again, please make sure that you are reading the questions. I'm super stoked to see what this project will look like through your end because you are the first ones to create this project. Have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing your projects.